it's Melissa. In this video, we are going to go over step by step how to unbox and set up this Prestige A3 Plus DTF printer. So this is a direct to film printer. Uh, it is going to give you lots of options for making transfers, printing directly to film. Um, if you have questions about how this is different than sublimation or white toner printer or an eco solvent printer or direct to garment, I have videos and content uh, blog post on all of that. But in this video, we are going to set up this printer. Um, if you have already done the un uncrating, I won't even call it an unboxing because it doesn't come in a box, it comes in a crate. That is honestly the hardest part about this whole setup. Now I will say that it looks a little intimidating, uh, but we're gonna go through step by step and don't worry, uh, we'll be able to get this all set up in just a little bit. So be patient and just follow right along and we will um, get everything ready so that you can begin printing. Okay, so first things first, what comes with the printer? Okay, so obviously you have the printer. The reason I like the Prestige A3 Plus is as you can see, it's desktop size. A lot of DTF printers are huge. This one is has a relatively small uh, footprint and so it's easy to fit into a space like if you have a home office or a, a home workroom if you're whether you're inside or in your garage or wherever it's easy to be able to fit it's also relatively light you can see I can pick it up it is built well but it's kind of I don't know if portable is the right word but you're not going to be stuck with it in one place so if you need to move you know occasionally I wouldn't recommend moving every time you want to use it but that is uh, possible. So what else comes with the printer? I will tell you it does not come with ink and it does not come with the film. So you're going to want to add those on and I will add links where I recommend. Um, if you're also wondering like are there bundles available? There are. There are bundles available that it comes with the oven and the um, fume extractor. So that's also pretty small. But right now, I'm just gonna focus on the printer because this is what you're gonna get out of the box. And while you need a couple little add-ons like ink, you can just start with the printer, ink, and film. You can add that oven on later if you want. Now, I'd recommend it at the beginning, but you can get away with just using a heat press if you need to. Okay, so in the box though, you have the printer, you're gonna have this bag of stuff you're gonna have access to the software, which is a RIP software, runs on PC, and then you're going to have this black tray. Okay, so the tray is gonna go in the front, but we're gonna to get to that next, all right? So, um, sit back, relax, or actually just get ready to pause as you kind of go through this with me. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is peel off all of this um, packing film. So we're just gonna peel that off once all the packing tape is off, then we are going to turn to open up where the ink is stored. And in there on the far back, you will find the waste container. There's a little piece of packing material in there. So you wanna pull that piece of styrofoam out and then pull out the waste container and the waste tray. There's also a little piece of paper that you can take out of there. That's just a uh, print um, test. And what you will find then is where you are going to install the waste tank, which is on the back. There are three screws. You want to remove number two and three and then reapply, reattach them, putting the waste tank back in place. Then what you are going to do is you will uh, put the waste tank into that little bin and then put the tube which is coming out of the back of the printer You can remove the little zip tie and insert that into the top of the waste tank Now the next step is going to be to take this sponge which does is not included with the printer It is only included if you get the printer and the oven so you're going to take that little sponge and you're going to place it inside so that it absorbs any excess ink all right close the cover back up and then you're going to return to the back of the machine where you're going to plug in the power cord so you'll plug that into the back of the, the machine then you'll plug into a power source you'll turn on that big red button on the back and you'll hear some the printer making some noises turn on the power button on the top on the front it'll begin flashing and you'll see the temperature rising you can pull the uh, guides out for the 
sheet feeder and then also place the black bin right on the front. That's the tray that will catch or essentially um, stabilize the printed films. So you'll put that right on the front and then what you want to do is a test run. So put a piece of uh, film in there, adjust the uh, holder so it's holding it snug and then you want to press the third button on the front, the the third red the second red button and that will feed your sheet through if it feeds correctly it means it's all set up now it's time to fill the ink channel so this is a two-step process first you're going to remove this sticker that is on here and then what you're going to do is you're going to fill each tank with the color now if it's easiest if you put your inks the five color inks in order and match them with the sample colors on the top that is the order that you want to put them in you will see you can see here that <clears throat> you'll put the blue in first on the far left um, just pour the ink directly into the little jar okay now just take note that there are two white squares on that sample sticker above at the top but there's only one jar that's going to get white ink but it does actually have two channels so once the ink is poured in there you're going to return the the caps to keep everything safe there's plenty of ink those are 90 milliliter um, or 900 milliliter bottles all right so fill all five containers with uh, the red blue white black and yellow and then what you're going to do when you're finished that is close that container back up and grab that little pack of syringes so you want to take one of the syringes and put the orange cap on the very top of the syringe. This is how you are going to charge the ink. So it's going to help pull the ink through the line. So open the top of your printer and take one of these little teeny carriages out and insert the syringe into the top. Pull the syringe so that it pulls the ink through. And you'll see it start filling that little carriage. Once you get some ink in the syringe, then you can stop. Now, once you get the ink in there, what you want to do is take that syringe, well, you'll replace the little cartridge there, snap it back in, then take that syringe and on the back of your printer where you have your uh, waste tank, put the excess ink in there. Then repeat this process for all six carriages because there will be two that fill with white. So red and then white, white and then black and then yellow. You'll fill, complete this process, and when you're done, put the excess ink completely into the waste tank. Then pull the little straw out of the waste tank, and you're going to put the syringe in there and pull back to pull any air out of the line and pull until you get all of the ink starts filling the syringe. See how I have some little bubbles there? You want to pull until you don't have any more bubbles. Then take the syringe off, but leave that little orange tip in the tube empty out the syringe back into the waste tank and then replace the um, tubing into the waste tank you can see this is not a, re a real um, it's kind of a messy process so just be aware you might get some ink one well congrats you got to this part so that has to have been easier than open up the crate right Okay, so now it is time to focus on installing the software. So once we get the software installed, which is also pretty easy, we will then connect the two, the computer and the printer together and finish up and we will be all ready to do our first print. So get that email that was sent to you with the, the download link for the installation of the software and we will pick up from there. So you're going to get the link. Had a link in your email and then you will have a um, it will download onto your computer and then you'll have this file here um, that install that you can use to install so we're going to double click that and work through um, the prompts now as you can see it's asking me uh, it's telling me that this is a trial when you purchase your printer the software comes with it and you will get a uh, like a license key number that'll come with it as well. So you want to make sure um, that you have that. It looks like this is going to take a little bit of time. So we'll just let this run and then um, pick up the installation when it's done. Oh, it's moving much quicker than it originally estimated. Okay, so once it does that initial install, then you're just going to follow the prompts. I'm doing this for the first time with you. So um, 
I'm just working through what it's asking me here. This is a pro rip software. So again, it's only compatible with a PC. Um, this computer that I have, I only use um, for the printers that are only PC compatible. Typically I use a Mac. So um, I'm, I'm just as new to this as you might be. We will accept the terms. Full install is what we want. Um, there is an option there if you just want to install the um, plugin for Corel, but we are going to install the full thing. It's asking where we want to install it. I'm going to keep it where it's suggesting, and then we'll click Next. And Setup will add program icons to your folder. You may type a new folder name. No, we're just going to leave that alone and allow this to um, do its thing. Once that initial uh, setup gets finished down in the left corner, then you'll have this other box that pops up. That is all happening automatically. And now it is telling me that I have um, just need to finish the installation by clicking finished. And it looks like it should then be installed. So we'll have to see here. We can find it where we installed it. Oh. Factory, here it is. Let's see if we can open it. It's going to ask me for some settings, and uh, those look good. And now it's asking me for that activation code. So that's the activation code um, that you would get with the purchase. So I'm just going, going to enter mine. Okay, and that'll register. Okay, it's asking me to restart. So I will find it again. Okay, so now it appears that it's giving me some types of tutorials. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and go through those. There's an installation instruction guide, which you get, um, and along with some other um, info. So I'm just going to click through and click next, turn the output device power on, connect it. So this is at the, now I'm at the point where I need to connect my uh, printer to my computer. And so um, I'm going to do that step next. All right, so grab the USB cord that is included with the printer and you're going to plug the USB side into your um laptop or your computer and then on the back side of the printer you will insert the other end so once the two are connected together you're going to switch over back to the computer and follow through these prompts so you want to make sure that you click next and then install printer this will begin the installation process after you pick prestige a3 dtf there's a lot of printers here make sure you pick the correct one I picked all the default settings by clicking next for searching for the new printer package and it very quickly found um, what it needed to, to find and installed all of that um, in just a matter of minutes. You can see it's confirming everything is correct. Then I clicked next again. When you get to the next screen, what you're going to see is where it says port setup. Just click next and then finish when you get the Prestige A3 DTF. This will finish up the process for you and then you can restart the software and you will be completely done. That's it guys, you have successfully set up your printer, your software, connected them both, you've got the drivers, you've got everything installed and you are now ready to go on your DTF journey. So. This is super exciting. We're gonna have lots of videos. We're gonna have lots of tutorials. We're gonna have lots of education content, exciting ideas, things you can do with your Prestige A3 DTF printer. Just another way for you to add to or enhance or expand your small business. Um, so make sure that you're checking out um, Silhouette School. We will have videos on the Silhouette School YouTube channel. I will have um, some tutorials on Silhouette School blog. I'll be adding some to the Silhouette U exclusive content I'll be adding to the Silhouette U um, website as well. That'll be videos and, and tutorials that I don't post anywhere else. Um, I also offer one-on-one -on -one help there and I will offer 
one-on-one -on -one help for your DTF printer as well. So I am excited for you to start your journey and I hope to see you guys around Silhouette School, Silhouette School blog, the Facebook page, the YouTube channel, and Silhouette You. See ya.